Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Testing VOR with the SMBV100B. In this short presentation, we'll show you how to configure VOR signal generation on a Rodian Schwartz SMBV100B vector signal generator. This presentation assumes a basic familiarity with VOR and the structure of VOR signals. If you're not already familiar with VOR, you might want to watch the presentation Understanding VOR before proceeding with this presentation. VOR is one of the supported avionics signal types on the SMBV100B. In other words, the SMBV can generate VOR signals with user-definable parameters for the three components of a VOR signal, namely the reference signal, the variable signal, and the COMID signal. Recall that a VOR signal contains a carrier that's modulated by two 30 Hz signals. The reference signal, which has the same phase regardless of which radial we're on, and the variable signal, whose phase is different on each radial. The current radial is the same as the difference between the reference and variable signal. For example, if the phase difference between reference and variable is 45 degrees, this means that we're on the 4 or 5 radial. The COMID signal component isn't used for determining the current radial, but rather contains a Morse code or voice signal that can be used to unambiguously identify the VOR station. To access the different avionics modulation types on the SMBV100B, including VOR, first select the modulation tile, then choose VOR from the Avionics Standards group of available modulation types. Don't forget to enable both the modulation and the RF blocks. The frequency of the generated signal can be specified either directly in the main SMBV GUI or under the General tab in VOR configuration. In addition to specifying frequency as a user-defined value in megahertz, the VOR transmit frequency can also be specified using standard ICAO channel numbers. Here, ICAO channel 119, which corresponds to the VOR frequency of 117.2 megahertz. The Signal tab allows you to specify the operating mode for VOR signal generation, as well as to view or edit the parameters of the basic VOR signal. In most cases, these basic signal parameters, such as the VAR ref frequency, subcarrier frequency, deviation, etc., should be left at their default values. The four different operating modes control which of the VOR signal components are present and or modulated. Norm generates the standard VOR signal with the optional COM ID, whereas the other three options selectively enable the variable and reference signals with or without modulation. Again, to generate a standard VOR signal, the default values for operating mode and signal modulation should be used. On the other hand, the Position tab contains the Bearing Angle parameter, which is the most commonly changed parameter in VOR testing. Recall that Bearing Angle is the phase difference between the reference and variable signals, and that this difference defines the VOR radial. If we're on the 85 radial, the difference in phase between the reference and variable signals is 85 degrees. Note, however, that we can designate a radial as either to or from. For example, this aircraft is on the 85 from radial because the angle from the VOR to the aircraft is 85 degrees. We could, however, also express this as the angle from the aircraft to the station, which would be 85 plus 180, or 265 degrees. The signal produced by the SMBV is exactly the same in both cases. The COMID signal is used by pilots to ensure that they're tuned to the proper VOR station. VOR stations transmit this ID signal either as Morse code or as a recorded voice message. If COMID is enabled, the SMBV will generate the defined code in Morse or a constant AM tone if this field is left blank. The period or interval between the IDs can be defined, as well as additional ID parameters, such as the frequency of this tone, the modulation depth, and the time scheme and dot length used in producing the Morse ID. These last two parameters control the lengths and the timing of the dots and dashes themselves. So in summary, the SMBV100B can be used to generate standard or customized VOR signals. The three basic parameters in VOR signal generation are the frequency, level, and the bearing angle or radial. In addition, the various components of the VR signal can be enabled or disabled or modified. These are the reference signal, the variable signal, and the COMID signal. This concludes our presentation, Testing VOR with the SMBV100B. If you'd like to learn more about avionics, navigational aids, or generating and analyzing avionic signals, 
please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.